Hey guys, uh, so welcome to my new video. And this video is going to be very special. Um, I'm going to be sharing something that uh, I just came across. Uh, I don't see anyone else talking about that. So I decided I'm going to uh, shoot the video and, and share this information. And it's to do with fractals. And it came to me when I was uh, looking at the chart, essentially staring at the chart and uh, trying to understand fractals. And then something just pop out of the screen for me and I start seeing uh, things, those two particular fractals, everything is built like, like a, like a um, Legos out of those two fractals. And they, you can see them on different time frames. they're everywhere. And it's um, in, uh, you know, and what would be the importance of understanding that when you see everything in structures? understanding structure and understanding you know fibonacci's and all these all these things like it gives you so it puts you ahead of you know 90 percent of of the traders who don't understand structure who don't understand fractals um and, and trading is about you know it's not being right or wrong it's it's about being able to find the moment where you have a you know 50 50 chance of uh, you know, losing a little and gaining a lot. That's that's what the tr that's the trading mastery, right there. If you know these moments, when to buy, when to sell. So if you're not correct, you're losing a little or break even, and if you're correct, you are making uh, you know a lot uh, proper gains. So. That's the mastery. It's not about being right or wrong. That's why it's kind of pointless of asking, you know, anyone who understands trading. It's like, where, where do you think the price is going to be? And it's, it's when you think about it, it's, you see people, uh, uh, you know, like if you really put yourself through this thought experiment, right? And you can imagine there's, there's, there's a trader right there and he did his analysis and he says like, oh, I think it's going to go up, you know? So he buys it. And guess what? He buys it from another person who expects it to go down, right? Because that person sells it. So now you see this, like it's, it's almost always zero sum game. If you're playing being right, uh, um, type of game. So, the trading mastery is not that it's not in being right like it doesn't matter which way it's going to go whether we go you know 5000 or we whether we're going to go to 3500 it doesn't matter the question is is like do you know execution do you know structure do you know uh, all these different uh, ways that could make you profit either way that's the question you're supposed to be asking yourself and if your answer depends on being right then then you still don't get it then then you're still playing the you know the same old game and like most of the information is out there that you got to realize it's just it's it's not you know you 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 won't find the holy grail there there is a holy grail but it's not there right it's not it's not in a temporary information it's in the timeless principles it's not in temporary information and that brings me to news um how uh, if if you know if i were to give you an advice if you were to stop watching news stop reading news i guarantee that your trading would improve if you stick to the right principles right it would improve uh, so that's you know what you have like etf cboe uh, backed all, all of that you know it's just it makes no difference it makes absolutely no difference you know uh, if if it's going to be relevant in five years then it is irrelevant as far as you know concerned as an investor or a trader so focus on something that is timeless something that you can learn you know forget about the twitter forget about somebody said something and somebody said this way this way you know in two months it's not going to be you know matter but somebody's going to make money out of this and somebody's not going to make money out of this. so are you that person do you really so much depend on being right to profit? And um, if that is so, then it's always zero sum, sum game. So I hope it kind of makes sense where I'm headed with that. All right, so this is a little bit off the tangent, but I kind of wanted to put this out there. Now, 
uh, let's let's get to fractals let's uh, talk about fractals um first of all what is fractal and there's a lot of information out there you can go ahead and study and highly recommend to study because i don't want to make this video too long uh, but essentially the fractal is something that um a, if you can imagine everything in the universe uh, consists of uh, two states right the chaos and order and everything in the universe is trying to find the balance between chaos and order so whether you look at the you know yin yang masculine feminine uh um you know anything look at the planet formation right there's a lot of violence and then boom you know it, it gets order and then other planet smashes into another planet and you know and and you have stars colliding a lot of violence happening again and then there's order again so there's always a balance right this is a, this is a, a principle of the universe it's like a, 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 it exists everywhere so in the and then the fractal is something that results in a specific structure that um, it's seemingly in a chaotic and, uh, and chaos environment there's order emerges and it emerges in a specific way so you know like you can look at the leaves you can look at the trees and you know the way the branches are there and then this little branch represents it looks similar to the entire tree Right, so there's like a, a fractal of the of the bigger fractal, and then you know there's this even tinier branches looks exactly like that type of branch. So you see this everywhere, and um, okay, you can argue say okay, well maybe that's because DNA uh, DNA makes the structure. Well, that doesn't explain uh, the rivers, for example. Right, the rivers have exact same uh, uh, you know principles. There's no DNA there, so. So therefore, it's not a code of DNA, it's a code of universe that produces those fractals. So there's an order in the universe specifically, and it even gets in the specific ratios, you know, and and guess what? We are subject to that. As humans, we are the subject to that. That's why the charts are not chaotic. It seems chaotic, but everything is very orderly and structured. And, and um, I'm going to get into the charts in a second, and you know, you see how orderly and structured uh, they are once you start seeing so you know uh, what if i tell you that once i explain this you're not going to look at the, at the chart same way again ever uh, you will see this everywhere all the time and it's it's almost like seeing through the matrix you you, you know essentially um it's a red pill okay let's um let's look further so i would like to invite you into this concept called systems thinking okay this is a different type of uh, thinking uh, you can be rational but not necessarily looking from systems thinking and um, if you do have that systems thinking you stop obsessing about tiny details that don't matter and uh, thinking that it does that somehow it correlates with your success and you know and, and returns and as a as a trader and and it doesn't and you believe that it does but it absolutely doesn't it actually harms you right so uh, uh, as an example you're looking at the, some sort of small event uh and news and saying like well you know some something happened uh, there was something was accepted um something was hacked or whatever right so you, you're looking at this and then you're paying attention you're wasting all this time about it right so and then that influences your decisions and everything and it it, it just absolutely uh makes no difference into your in your trading at all it, it it actually harms your trading so that's not systems thinking that's like a detailed thinking and it's um if you do zoom out right and you if you, if you look at something from the at, at this from the bigger um, uh, picture from the bird's eye view and then you see look all these different things it's just like ants in the in the ant's nest right you want to have a view of the ant's nest not the single ant so if there's a news about something you know got hacked that's like um, an ant uh, you know breaking a leg is that going to make a difference the way the nest going to come out probably not you know definitely not so there's no need to focus on that 
So that's 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 my point is that you know stop watching news, stop caring what they say. It's entertainment. I mean, you you can't take it serious. And I know a lot of YouTubers kind of have to put out all this information because, well, you know, they they gotta show something, right? Because so so they show news and 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 it's 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 interesting. It's like. It's, but it's entertainment. It makes no difference to your investments or trading decisions. The only thing that does make difference is, is not exactly those news that anybody talks about. Very few do actually. You know, it's like what was the technological, um, you know, what what the, what were the technological changes that were you know implemented? You know, nobody nobody reads those papers. Nobody, um, um, you know, cares about that. As an example, throughout the entire bear market, the Lightning Network was being developed, right? They didn't care. Nobody cared. The price just kept going down, even though the utility of Bitcoin is becoming, you know, you know, much. Everybody's asking, we're saying, criticizing Bitcoin about buying, uh, you know, a cup of coffee. Like Lightning Network that's making a reality. So all these excuses that the, the people had that uh, Bitcoin is unusable, that does being resolved, right? So you can go ahead and, and try it, um, but that doesn't make no difference in price. You would think that, well, that would actually make the price go up. No, it goes down because as a as a system thinking, you see this everything else is involved in the picture, and everything that you need to see is already on the charts, right? And if if there's an obviously the talent about it is like being able to read the chart to the right side. You can't read the chart to the right side because everything's you know to the left you can see everything you can read everything to the left but can you read it to the right side as in, in the, the only way you can read it to the right if you start seeing everything in fractals and structures and then you can draw what's going to happen you know most likely it's going to happen next and and if it does happen um you know the way you picture it that's very very profitable if it doesn't you just lose uh, very little you know that's the power in in, in in being able to understand that and um that's why you look at the big picture and the cycles and structures and that's what matters yeah uh, uh, not not the tiny details